Hi, I'm Yogi Roth, and welcome back to the Pulse of College Football on Fox College Sports. Week one was crazy in the 2010 college football season. We had wild upsets from FCS teams like North Dakota State and Jacksonville State. We had epic finishes like East Carolina's Hail Mary pass to win a game. So they're back at the goal line now with five seconds to go. This is a fourth down play, so Davis has to make it good. Ball's up in the air. It's going to the end zone. It's batted down. Is it pulled in? The big fella. Justin Jones, you call. And we even had a wild game that we somewhat considered a basketball score as Oregon decided to drop 72 points on New Mexico. All in all, a crazy week. So let's dive right into it. Big name quarterbacks like John Brantley and Garrett Gilbert may not have lit up the scorecard, but a few quarterbacks didn't make their presence felt around the country. Michigan's Denard Robinson finally allowed Coach Rich Rodriguez to get a good night's sleep after the 31-10 victory. He threw for 186 yards, ran for 197, and proved that his instinctiveness under center may allow this Wolverine team to upset the Notre Dame Fighting Irish this week. Another quarterback who put his name in that early contention for the 2010 Heisman Trophy is TCU's Andy Dalton. He orchestrated a great game as they beat Oregon State at Cowboy Stadium. Watch him all season long as we got to spend a little time together this summer. He proved he is one of the elite signal callers in the nation. And how about Baylor's Robert Griffin? You know, last year the Big 12 lost a lot of big-name quarterbacks, but he proved after his performance over the weekend, averaging 9.8 yards per carry, that he is one of those quarterbacks to always be feared in the Big 12 conference. Well, the Pac-10 only went 6-4 in week one. The quarterback did prove that they were worth all of that preseason hype. Washington's Jake Locker, Stanford's Andrew Luck, Arizona's Nick Foles, and USC's Matt Barkley combined to complete over 72% of their passes while throwing 12 touchdowns to only one interception. A lot of quarterbacks played well over the weekend, but one signal caller stepped up above everyone else. It was Boise State's Kellen Moore. He was accurate in every one of his drives in their victory over Virginia Tech, but it was that final drive, the game-winning drive, when he proved that he and his team are legit. While we hate to make predictions here on the Pulse specifically about postseason awards, I think it's safe to say that Kellen Moore may have a seat at that downtown athletic club in New York City come December. Regardless of the dynamic plays, touchdowns, and fun tailgates that came out of the first week of college football, there was one player who reminded us why we celebrate this game so much. It was Boston College's Mark Hurst. He came back from a fight against cancer to run out of the tunnel at Alumni Stadium in front of a crazy crowd. Congratulations, Mark, because you proved why we love this game and the definition of what competition truly is. This weekend, there's a lot of great games. We've got Florida State, Oklahoma, Penn State, Alabama, Miami going to Ohio State, and what will be a fantastic clash of two major programs with great history. Through it all, I need to hear what you're thinking and what you feel about week two in college football. So give me a shot via Twitter at Yogi Roth and let me know all of your thoughts and insight on college football. Because next week we are coming right back here as we bring you the pulse of college football on Fox College Sports.